Welcome. It has been a hot second. I've got a couple new friends to help me along the way. I sincerely hope that you and your family are all safe during this crazy, crazy time and year. It's been about 10 months since I disappeared. And um, look, without getting too deep into it, I was uh, in a pretty bad spot. I think I was in a pretty deep depression. I think I've learned from that and, and what sort of got me to that place. So I think I'm in a better spot to recognize the signs so I don't end up there again because it was not good. And now I'm at a place where I can continue that journey. This I picked up on eBay. It's a Nikon measure scope. This is a Toolmakers microscope with a XY and a 360 slide on it. Uh, it's got micrometer adjustments. The only issue is that it only has like 25.4 mil travel in either direction. Is it, it is in metric, but it's still one inch travel. This will definitely help me measure distances between jewel holes and try and set up like an XY coordinate system for the holes that I'm drilling. Next up, the Bantam PCB mill. Look, it might not look like much, but you know, it's got super user-friendly um, software. It's easy to use. It's, I think it's good for me to a uh, gateway into CNC machining, and I'm pretty excited. Some people, some people right now might be getting a little bit froggy and they want to jump in and say, what happened to classic watchmaking? What happened to handmade? I made all the bridges. Um, for my watch, the prototype, the first prototype, and it, I got it in a working condition, and I did it all using manual machinery and by hand. I learned how to accurately align the holes in the lathe using the center scope, tapping it, using the face plate, you know, and that's a great skill, and I'm glad I went down that path and learned it. You know, some people use the wobble stick, they even go further. After all the prototyping and parts and, and scrapping and remaking parts, I probably aligned over a hundred holes over and over again. The same one, the alignment pins, the screw holes, the jewel hole for the, for the 6498 movement, okay? It wasn't like I was doing, one day I was doing this movement, another day I was doing a different movement. No, it was the same movement over and over and over again. And personally, I think like if I'm making more than one, of a watch, like if it's a series and a number of watch, you know, spending over 10 hours per watch aligning holes in the lathe manually, I think it brings no value to that watch whatsoever. That's my personal opinion. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super keen um, to just jump in. I don't know everything about the Bantam. I don't know everything about the Fusion. It's probably gonna be a recipe for disaster, but that's what this channel is about and the itch just needs to be scratched. So this is the first prototype. I cut it out of uh, acrylic or perspex. And um, yeah, I think the uh, it was pretty good. Like I was really happy with the alignment. Uh, I think the, the whole balance bridge was kind of out. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, and I was, I was pretty happy with the results. So I was willing to try it in bra. Thank you. 
I'm very happy with that. I think, I honestly think that this can work and I'm very happy with the results so far. You know, that was like very brief. I jumped in, I didn't get things really sorted out, but now I'm really gonna sit down. I'm gonna learn Fusion properly. I'm gonna learn the ins and outs of the Bantam. Because that's all part of it, I'm gonna document that as well. So please smash that like button, hit the subscribe and the bell notification.